Welcome to the Land of Unpopular Opinions. Today I will be recording my May TBR and this is a very ambitious TBR considering that I have like the national exams or whatever next month. So this TBR is not likely to happen as I will present it right now, but these are books that I hope to read, that I would like to read right now though because I'm very flaky and that could not be the case next month, but these are anyway books that I really hope I could read next month, but seriously no one knows if I will. But the first few I will talk about I will definitely read because I always have a couple that I just know I will get to. And this is my Scotland t-shirt that I bought when I went there and god I want to go back. But yeah, it's getting very hot here so short sleeves are the way to go right now. Anyway, let's go into the TBR. The first book I know I will get to anyway in May because there's no way that I won't and that is A Memory of Light. I was supposed to read this in April but we know what happened. I didn't even finish The Wheel of Time that I was supposed to read but we're getting to this in April. We are just getting to this in April. April. May. Yeah, May. <laughs> uh, this is like 900 pages. It's the finale to a book series I've been a part of for like almost two years and I've I don't want to leave I don't want I don't want this to be the last that I have to read from this world so I'm extremely extremely depressed just thinking about this but we have to get to it we have to finish it we just have to I don't wanna but it'll be fine like this is just 900 pages of battle basically and just could have just been called the last battle not a memory of light but I love the I love the title anyway I love the edition this beautiful hardcover just I will record actually a vlog just for reading this book so I can talk about spoilers my thoughts you can see me cry because that is very likely to happen and I know it will but look forward to this in May if you're also reading it we can read along if you're a longtime fan enjoy my suffering yeah I, I love it but I also will probably hate that I'm done with this series so that is one book the other that I'm sure I will read is definitely Lords of the Sith that's the last book that I own that I haven't yet read from Star Wars then I'm likely to reread the prequels because I want to. I haven't read them for like two years. But this is the one that I'm for sure will get to because Star Wars books are very quick for me and I like to read at least at least one a month. If not more, but yeah, at least this one I will get to. We'll see. But it shouldn't be that long. I think it's like yeah, like three hundred pages, so there we go. I just realized I've not been really giving summaries if you're interested in reading the books, but Truth be told, Wheel of Time is like book 14, so I can give you a summary. And Lords of the Sith, it's basically about Vader and Palpatine and what they're doing during the Empire. So it's not, you don't need <laughs> really a summary for that. Then I hope I will finally read The Silmarillion, which I was supposed to read after my Tolkienathon last month. On my birthday weekend, I read the entirety of The Hobbit and all of Lord of the Rings. I was supposed to read this immediately afterwards, but I was way too obsessed with Middle Earth and I couldn't stop thinking about it, so I didn't pick this up. I don't know why it should be kind of the opposite, but... Yeah, I couldn't stop get myself out of the world, so I guess I sort of needed the break, but I will... I hopefully I will read this in May, if you don't know, which I'm <laughs> very doubtful of that, but this is basically sort of short stories, but also sort of the histories of Middle Earth, basically, and the origins. And now we get into the really ambitious TBRs. <laughs> These are books that I have no idea if I will get to, but they're on my every TBR for like months now because I hope I will finally get to them every single month. I will also be continuing, that's like part of the sure TBR, with the Dumpier comics because they're very easy to read and they're always there if I have nothing better to read. <laughs> Not that they're bad, but very short and easy and I don't expect excellence from them and Garfield because I, I've i liked reading one every month it's very fun and w reminds me kind of of my childhood it's very cool but now the ambitious TBR yeah 
this this freaking book that I can't read. This has been the bane of my existence since like October. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to hate myself for not reading it, but I also hate this book. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it. I read like 50 pages of it, but I was so pissed off when I found that the plot of it would be casino hopping and ships and oh god I hate that I hate it like book one wasn't too bad it has a flimsy ending but I went out to buy this immediately and then I read the synopsis and I was just like really almost 800 pages of that but I will push through this if only to get to the third book because that synopsis actually sounds interesting, but first I have to get through this one in order to actually get to the third one. So let's hope I manage it this month. I so do not want to. But give me encouragement. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it has very good elements. Maybe it's interesting, but that's my face when I think about reading this book. But I think I still have like a bookmark in there. Yeah page 49 since like October this book will probably be the death of me but have faith I will read it I will get to book three final three I won't talk about for too much because I already mentioned them in my last vlog and <laughs> yeah I was supposed to read all three of them but did I no I did not so let's freaking hope I read them this month the first one is the gospel of Loki on my TBR since like late 2018. I love Loki. I also have the sequel to this. Can't be hopefully that bad if it's about Loki but I don't really have any expectations for this. I just want to enjoy my beautiful beautiful god of mischief but I have nothing to say about this. It's about Loki. I think it's like something about modern times. He goes to earth or maybe that's book two. I'm not really sure but I don't want to know more about it. I saw Loki in the title. I bought it. Next book, we have freaking City of Bones. I'm supposed to read this for the reading rush. Have like, yeah, this much left. I read it when I was in Florence, not Florence, Italy. When I was in Tuscany last year. Did I finish it? No, I did not because I was bored. <laughs> but I have like 200 pages left. I will finish it. I also have book two and I have A Clockwork Angel, so I might actually get into Cassandra Clare, which I never did before. My mother really likes her, but I will, I will finish it. I will finish it for sure because it's very easy to read, but I'm kind of bored. Sorry, but yeah, I was kind of bored. <laughs> and then we have the Final Empire. I almost had Fallen Kingdom. Why? Final Empire, which is Miss Born 1. I said I didn't want to read Sanderson in my vlog, but I will repeat it here. I don't really like Sanderson. I don't want to read him, but I want to be able to form a cohesive opinion on him. So I will be reading Miss Born. It was the cheapest book to find, the most popular book. It's usually good for beginners, but I'm not really a beginner into fantasy. I'm very well read in fantasy, but nobody will probably take me seriously until I've read a Sanderson. So Mistborn, we will be reading hopefully this month. It is how long? 600 pages? It's not not that long. And the font is pretty big, so this should go over quickly. Do I have sequels? No. Do I anticipate needing sequels? No. <laughs> not really, if I'm going to be honest, but I'll be reading this after I finish Wheel of Time. There's no way I'm picking this up before I've read A Memory of Light, but hopefully... It happens this month and I can trash talk your favorite author or even praise him, which I doubt, but never say never. I might, I might praise him. You, you never freaking know with me. I'm sorry, but yeah, that's the last book that I'm hoping to read. That concludes my May TBR. As you can see, it was very, very ambitious. Let me know if your TBRs always pan out the way you want them to, but <laughs> who knows what I might pick up, who knows what I might buy and reread, or only God could tell, but this is the plan, so I hope you're having a lovely 
end of April. I hope you're doing good at home if you're still at home and I definitely hope that May will be better for you than April because April was kind of eh for me. So I hope you're doing well. Please let me know what you're reading, what you're planning to read for April or if you're planning to read anything along with me so we can chat about it. Take care. Sorry this is just an end clip. I know I already like wrapped it up but yeah, Memory of Light, I was just like going to put it back on the shelf and I read the back, which is the beginning quotes and then it ends, let the dragon ride again on the winds of time and I already want to freaking cry and like just these words in general, the final book in the wheel of time, just tear my heart out right away, why don't you? It's so difficult finishing long series. It hurts me I feel like I literally can't live without it anymore it's it's strange it's very strange but yeah